Good afternoon, everyone. You're tuned into the Community Hour on New Sound Radio 92 FM with myself, Nish. But today is Wednesday, the 29th of January, and the time is just coming up to 13 minutes past 12. And live in the studio, I've got Miriam here with me. Hello. Hello. Hi, Nish. How are you? Not too bad. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us here on New Sound Radio no, today. Thank you for, no, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> no, no problem. So please, can you tell me and the listeners a little bit about yourself and a bit about your background? Uh, yes, I'm, um, I'm a Lebanese. Uh, woman from a Syrian American and Lebanese dad and a Lebanese mom I was born in the civil war and okay. uh, Lebanese civil war and I started my studies at a French school I published my first book at a very young age of poetry okay so how old were you when you published your book I would say around 14 years old or something I was my in in my secondary like you know classes okay yeah that's amazing <laughs> at such a young age you managed to publish a poetry book what inspired you to get into poetry at such a young age I think it was kind of a hobby and I met in my school one of the big Lebanese uh, poets uh, his name is George Ghreyeb and he encouraged me and wrote the introduction of my book okay. so this is how it started it started mm -hmm. as just a hobby something like you know a young girl have feelings inside and yeah. I just want to let it out and it was very very how to say it young experience that needed a lot of reading later on and studies to make it like more mature and uh, mm -hmm. so what was the kind of things you started off with in your poetry like uh, I started re writing about love of course every girl will, la will write about her first love and mm -hmm. uh, the conflicts that she is passing through like the poetry was kind of a best friend for me I just whenever I have like a strong feeling of pain or of happiness I just mm -hmm. like you know start writing and this is how it started yeah, so this was my first publication. And mm -hmm. then after that, I, I was accepted at the American University of Beirut to start my BA studies in Arabic language and literature. Okay. Um, and through my BA studies, uh, I published my second book. The first book was called Habibun Lam Yakun Yawman Habibi, which like a lover who was never my lover. Okay. And the second one was Memories in a Dream. And then I stopped writing completely. You know, to write, it's just like a feeling as if you're giving birth. You know, those strong pains that comes and then it's just very similar to giving birth to a child, but it's not a child that comes and it's not a physical pain. It's more like a spirit pain, spiritual pain. So you just feel something is boiling from inside mm -hmm. and then the, the poem will come out. And maybe I would say after my MA studies, I moved to London and it was quiet years of my life, just bringing up my kids as like, you know, any other lady would do, like, you know, yeah. starting a new job. So there was nothing really that made me like how to say no volcano come from inside just to make me like you know sit and write a poem so i stopped writing for many years mm -hmm. till 2012. Is poetry something that you've always wanted to do um, ever since you were a child or is there anything else that you wanted to do as well? Um, you know when you when you start you just have so many dreams and mm -hmm. you know you think about like you know maybe I want to become a teacher or I want to become a writer but you never know because it's kind of you know life will take you. you I just started studying Arabic literature and yeah. Uh, I had in mind or you know maybe I will teach one day in a university or you know I will go into writing and journalism and mm -hmm. stuff I've never had like one line but you know it's like things came step by step so when yeah. I was studying Arabic language and literature at the same time I was I got a job in one of the American schools as a uh, teacher for elementary level okay. and this is how it started yeah so what have you written about most recently you said you started again in 2012 yeah. in 2012 something really really bad happened in my life all of a sudden I knew that my three years old son is diagnosed with neuroplastoma cancer. I knew from day one that he will not win the, yeah. you know, this battle because neuroplastoma is really nasty. Yeah. But I just wanted to fight and we were fighting through love. It was our only weapon. Mm -hmm. We had no, nothing else to do. And the nights of Great Ormond Street were too long, too, yeah. too long. So I felt that this pain needs to come out 
and it came out like with you know with poems and um, I can say about you know my experience in Great Ormond Street it's a place where I met like you know the biggest love mm -hmm. in the earth and the biggest pain as well like two mountains of pain and love in the same place the amount of love people can feel in this feel in this place is amazing and the pain is unbearable yeah so well sorry to hear about that um do you have any poetry that you could read out today yes of course i do I've got one of my uh, poems. I'm going to start reading it in Arabic and then I will okay. read for you the translation in English. <laughs> Thank you. Man qala Man qala anna al-hubba la yuladu fi al-tayaa Man qala la yambut ala sakhra Man qala la yanmu bayna al-ashwaak Naam ya saghiri Huwa al-hub qarabin al-hayat Who says who says love is not born of desperation? Who says it cannot flourish in cold stone? Who says it's not a rose among thorns? Yes, my darling, it is love, the communion of life. Wow, that's really good. Thank you. So how long does it take for you to um, write something like this? Um, it's, you know, sometimes it's just a feeling that comes mm -hmm. and then the poem will come immediately. It's not something that take, you know, it takes a certain time, an hour or yeah. two. It's just about the feeling. So, you know, one time at night I couldn't sleep at all and I felt like crying really, like, you know, I just had feelings inside that I mm -hmm. couldn't, I couldn't sleep before I wrote the poem. So once I write it, it's out. So the tears are out, the emotions are out. And for me, uh, my poetry, it's like this bridge that takes me from London to the sky to my son, you know, yeah. it's just link us together. And um, I published when I was in Great Ormond Street, two books okay. uh, that I'm going to have the book launch event uh, next week, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, the first book was called A Rosy Pass Between Love and Death. Okay. And the second one is called The Halloween of the Eternal Separation. And it all, you know, it's just like, you know, to uh, talk about this pain mm -hmm. that comes out to life to link the moment of desperation with the moment like, you know, of maybe, I don't know, separation, like, you know, feeling this pain mm -hmm. and knowing that your child is going. So in between, there should be something to keep you solid and the thing was only love, love that keeps me going day after day, that kept mm -hmm. me going, yeah. That's good. So is the title of the two books, is that in English or is that the translation from Arabic? Uh, this is the translation of Arabic. Okay. The Arabic name is Mamar Wardi, Bain al Hub Wal Maut. And the second one is Halloween al Furaq al Abati. Of course, we are working on the translation of the book now into English. And on the book launch, we are going to have like people reading the poems in English too. Okay, so we're going to be talking a bit more about your event and your book launch just okay. after this short little break. Thank you. Welcome back after the break. You're tuned into the Community Hour on New Sound Radio and in the studio we've got Mariam. Hello, welcome back. Thank you. Hi. So we're here as well not only to talk about your poetry but also about your book launch and your mm. event that's taking place next week. So can you let our listeners know a bit more information please? Yeah, my book launch is going to be a signing event for my two new books that I mentioned before and it's to uh, support Great Ormond Street Hospital. It's going to take place in SOAS, University of of London from 7 to 9 in G2, G3. Okay, and how can people um, get tickets and come down? They don't need to get uh, uh, any tickets, just they oh, have okay. to just walk in into the university and mm -hmm. they're all welcome. Yeah. Okay, is there a website where they can find out any further information? Well, we have on SOAS website, if they go to the main page of SOAS University, mm -hmm. the event is there, it's published there. Okay, so it's at SOAS. Yeah. And um, what will be happening? Will you be reading some poems there as well? Yes, there will okay. be reading poems in Arabic and uh, in English. And there will be like as well some uh, Arabic music. And I would like as well to support the Lebanese embassy because really they gave me big support mm -hmm. through it all. Okay, and people can donate as well um, to Great Ormond Street yeah, at the, your event. The charity of Great Ormond Street, they're going to be present and they can yeah, donate directly 
work through to the charity. Okay, that's good. Can you just let us know a bit about any future work or any more publishing that you'll be doing? Yeah, I'm working on you a collection of poetry that it should be published in May. Mm -hmm. in the end of May. That's the first, you know, the work I'm, I'm planning for now. And as well, I'm going to uh, take part in one of the poetry books called A Hundred of Poems of Love in, uh, to Syria in the Time of Revolution. So, okay. uh, uh, yeah, that is going to come as well. Okay, that's really good. Thank you. <laughs> and um, is there anywhere where people can buy your poetry and your books? Yes, uh, it will be on the public on the publication house site, which is Arabic London Publication, and they will be as well in the Amazon. Okay. And are you on Twitter and Facebook where people can search for you? Yeah, uh, on Facebook it's Miriam Mishtawi. M Y R I A M M I C H T A W I and uh, on Twitter it's Maryam Mishtawi. Okay, thank you very much. And um, before you go, can you read one more poem, please, for us and our listeners? All right, thank, thank you. رجل العقاب رجل العقاب رحمني فأنا امرأة دفنت أمس أنا امرأة من الشمس في مهجة السماء احترقت وما من غيمة تبكيها. ريح الفراق عصفت علك تهتز لذكرى كانت تحييك وتحييها غابت غابت يا أرملا من القمر كي يتجلى نورك فيها فكيف لك أن تقسو وكيف لك أن تعاقبها وهي امرأة دفنت أمس وعلى صدرها عقد هو ماضيك وماضيها Thank you very much. Thank you, Nish. Can you just give a little description of what that's about? Yeah, it's a poem talking about uh, the man of punishment and asking him to um, to open his heart for love. And she, the, the poem is as well talking about the separations. Yeah, that's what it's about. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining us here on New Sound Radio today. Thank you very and, much. And um, I hope your book launch goes well next week. Thank you very SOAS. much. If people want further information, do check out the SOAS website and it is on the 6th of February, which is on Thursday. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you.